taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. Allowing the shoulders to relax downward away from the ears. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe that palms their heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Thanking ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice yoga here today. Slightly gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes if that feels good for us. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we relax our palms downward towards the earth, connecting our palms to our yoga mat. Taking a moment to check in with our environment. Noticing what's going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment, simply being aware. During our session here today, we may have thoughts and emotions. May we take awareness of what's going on without judgment, simply being aware. Two more breaths. We're going to flow our feet together in a bound position, coming into a diamond or butterfly, using this pose to open up our hip flexors. And at diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. And that butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So doing what feels best for you. Tummies are tucked in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Chin is slightly up. Their heart chakra is open. Slightly gazing those eyes down. Breathe in. Exhale. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that bound forward fold, just simply allowing the body to come downward towards the feet. We can allow those shoulders to flow forward and allowing that head to come closer to the feet. If that feels good, coming deeper into that forward fold. Noticing how this opens up those hip flexors a little more. Eyes are slightly gazed down or closed. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, slowly coming up, using our palms to push our bodies up, using our hands to breathe our legs together. Tummies are nice and tight. We're going to lift our feet off the earth. We're going to come into a boat pose position. Lifting those feet up off the earth will feel our core muscles, our abdominal muscles working here. Here in that boat pose, our backs are nice and straight. We are gaze forward, keeping that tummy nice and tight. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose. We're going to breathe our knees inward, connecting our hands to our feet. We're going to lift that left leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch here. You'll feel it here behind your legs and your hamstrings. Noticing how this feels. This is a boat pose variation. People also call it a half bear pose. Three breaths. That chin is up, heart chakra is open. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back in. We're going to extend that opposite leg, feeling that stretch. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Heart chakra's open, chin is up, gaze forward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back in. We're going to extend that left leg out to the side. And that right leg out to the side. We are now in that full boat pose variation, a.k.a. bear pose. Hands are connected to the feet. Optioning to bend your knees if that feels good. Whatever feels good for you and your body. Backs are nice elongated. Gaze forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling our legs back inward. Coming back into that boat pose. We're not done yet. We're going to continue to work those abdominals, keeping that back nice and straight. We're going to breathe our hands inward, and we're going to breathe our palms from side to side. We are working our core. We are working our obliques. Still in the burn. Four breaths. 
Two more breaths. Finding pause at center. Coming back to our, let's come on to our tabletop pose. Hands and knees. We're going to do a couple of hip rotations. Our palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. And we're going to allow our hips to rotate circular. Just rotating those hips. We are working the lumbar, the lumbar spine. Optioning to also rotate your head and neck into this position as well. We are loosening our spinal cord. Two more breaths. Engaging those abdominal muscles. We're going to find our pause and we're going to rotate the hips in the opposite direction. Optioning to rotate your head and your neck as well. Feel in that full spinal cord movement. Keeping those abdominal muscles nice and tight. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming back to that table. We're gonna extend that right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. And we're gonna pulse that right leg up nice and high, feeling that pulse. We are working our gluteus maximus. We're gonna pulse that leg, four breaths, gazing forward, two more breaths. We're gonna pulse it up, we're gonna hold it, feel that squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, left arm comes forward. We have that right leg towards the back, left arm forward. We're gonna relax that leg. If we need to catch our balance or relax, we can option to breathe those right toes downward towards the earth, or we can keep that right leg extended to the back. We are in that sunburned pose. Four breaths. Engaging the abdominal muscles, two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Blowing back the bird. Two breaths. Exhaling back to our table. We're going to drop down to cow. Tummy comes to the earth, chin slightly up. Noticing how this feels, two breaths. Flow into our cat, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows up to the earth, to the heavens. Coming back to cow, we're gonna do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. As we find our paws back at table, we're going to extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch, palms are flat on the earth. As we pause, that left leg up, we are working at gluteus maximus. <sighs> Rounding and lifting our buttocks, four more breaths. Tummy's nice and tight, two more breaths. We're gonna find that pause as we extend that right arm forward. Left legs to the back, right arms forward, gaze forward. We are in that sunburn opposite side, four breaths. Two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back the bird, two breaths. Coming back to our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming to table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Mm. Optioning to pedal our feet, walking our feet. Walking our dog from left to right. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Flowing into a high plank, just shifting that weight forward. We are working the upper parts of our bodies, shoulders, back legs, arms. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. Feeling that stretch, taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we walk that right foot forward, we're in that runner's lunge. 
just for a second. We're going to straighten that front leg. We're now in that pyramid pose. Feeling that stretch here. We are working our hamstrings here today. Head relaxes downwards over that thigh. Allowing that body to completely relax. Feeling that heart chakra on your thigh. Slightly gazing those eyes down. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Three more breaths. Feeling a stretch. Two more breaths. Going back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right, tummies are nice and tight. Finding that pause, shifting our weight forward, high plank, tummies tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. As we breathe that left foot forward, coming into that runner's lunge, opposite side. Just for a second, we're going to straighten that left leg, blowing into that pyramid, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Head melts down, slightly gazing the eyes down with a closing them. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to that runner's line, bending that knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping to our knees, coming into that table. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks. Just for a second, we're going to flow onto our backs, hugging our knees into our chest. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Feeling that stretch, two breaths, or feeling that relaxation. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, maybe connecting our hands to the lower parts of our legs or bringing our hands to our feet. Just lifting those legs above the head. Your buttocks may come slightly off the earth, feeling that stretch in the body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back, back up in the air. Legs on the wall. They also call this waterfall pose. With those shoulder blades, relaxing back to the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Feeling that body completely relaxed. As we breathe our hands to our legs, we're going to allow our legs to come wide-legged. Breathing those legs apart. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. Optioning to connect the hands to the lower parts of the legs or your toes. If that feels good. Four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing those legs back together, hugging those knees into the chest, keeping those knees up in the air. We're going to breathe our feet flat on the earth. Placing our palms flat on the earth next to our buttocks. We're going to use our feet and our hip flexors to lift our buttocks off the earth. We're going to feel our gluteus maximus, our buttocks getting nice and tight here. Yes, we are working our buttocks here today. We are working our hamstrings here today as well. So lifting that boot, that gluteus maximus up nice and tight, feeling that squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can option to crawl slightly down and then come back up and feeling that gluteus maximus get nice and tight here. And just holding that pause or pulsing it up for four breaths. Two more breaths. We're not done yet. We're going to hold this pose, lifting our gluteus maximus up nice and high. We're going to breathe our hands together underneath our buttocks, if that feels good for us and our shoulders. Breathing those hands together underneath your buttocks, walking your shoulder blades towards your spine. You'll notice that your chest, 
Your heart chakra comes higher in the air. Now we're in that bridge pose. Filling this within the body. Those hip flexors are up. This is a pelvic tilt pose. This pose is good for people who sit in office chairs all day. Tilting that pelvic bone forward. We are also squeezing that gluteus maximus. We can option to pulse it up and down, or we can squeeze it up nice and tight and hold it and feel that burn. Six breaths. Optioning to pulse it up and down if that choose. If you choose, four more breaths. Filling that burn, buns of still. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to pulse it slightly down and we're going to squeeze it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, filling that burn. Three breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze, squeeze. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing that buttocks towards the earth, hugging those knees into the chest, feeling that body relax and soothe. Mm -hmm. Optioning to cross that right leg over that left thigh, reverse pigeon pose. You'll notice that this is a counter stretch. It relaxes and soothes that gluteus maximus muscle. Reverse pigeon. As we switch sides, crossing that left leg over that right thigh, reverse pigeon opposite side, hugging those legs in towards the torso. Taking that nice deep breath, exhale. Feeling those shoulders relax towards the yoga mat. As we come back to knees to chest, hugging them in. Breathe deeply, exhale. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, knees flows towards the left. Feeling that spinal cord twist here. Shoulders are connecting to the earth, completely relaxing here. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze on shoulder. We can also option to breathe that right arm out to the side like a lowercase t, feeling that stretch here. And if we choose, we can extend that right leg that's on top, out towards the side, going deeper in that stretch, recline, spinal twist, allowing the body to relax and soothe. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, knees flows towards the right. Shoulder blades relaxes towards the earth. That left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t if that feels good. And we can slightly gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist, optioning to extend that left leg out towards the side if that feels good for you and your body. As our eyes slightly gaze downward or closed. Shoulder blades are connected to the earth. Our mind and bodies are completely relaxed. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we flow into a fetal pose, allowing that body to come into that fetal position, hugging those knees into the chest, maybe using our hand to relax our neck or a pillow, 
slightly gazing those eyes down with a close in the eyes. We can option to put a pillow between our thighs if that feels good for you as well. As we relax and soothe, four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly wiggling those toes, moving our hips. Circular rotations here. Using that top hand to lift our bodies up. Crossing our legs, coming into that cow face legs. <sighs> Spinal cords are nice and long. Tummies are tucked in at our navel, keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated here. Maybe connecting our hands to our feet, squeezing our feet, squeezing our toes, just showing our feet a little love here. Shoulders are relaxed down and away from our ears. A lot of time we sit in tension with our shoulders shrugged. Tighten the shoulders, tighten the neck. Be mindful, relaxing those shoulders down with away from the ears. This helps relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies, relieving tension, relieving stress in our neck and our shoulders. We can option to continue to squeeze our feet and our toes, or we can simply just relax here in this pose. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As our eyes are slightly gazed downward and closed. Optioning to breathe those palms at heart center if that feels good for you. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.